Today, I am going to use Floriani's FTCU software to create a Halloween napkin by combining designs from two different Anita Good Design collections. I want to use a napkin placement technique found in Anita Good Design's napkin collections, but I also want to use a design from Anita Good Design's Halloween quilt collection on the napkin corner. I start by opening the FTCU program and then select Open a Design by clicking on the folder icon. I navigate to the directory with napkin designs. For the purposes of this video, I am using Anita Good Design's Napkin Corners collection and have selected the first design on the list. It really doesn't matter which one I choose as they all start the embroidery sequence with a napkin placement stitch, which is what I'm looking for. I click on Open to place the design in the software. On the lower right screen is a sequence view that illustrates the sew out steps for the design. For this design, the first step is the napkin placement stitch, the second step is the napkin tack down, and this is specific to the design. The third step is the design itself. I am only interested in the napkin placement stitch and will delete the other two steps. I can select each step and then go to edit on the menu bar and select delete. I will do this for the each unwanted step. Next, I need to bring the Halloween design I want into the napkin. I click on File in the menu bar and select Merge Stitch File. I navigate to the directory that has the design I want on the napkin. My design is in the Halloween Quilt directory. I select the file I want to merge into the design and click on Open. The design is placed on the screen. Since this was a quilt block, there are more steps in this design than I want, so I have to delete the unwanted steps from the merged design. As before, I select the unwanted steps from the sequence view in the lower right corner. I am deleting the squaring and tack down stitches with the quilt block. I can hold the control key down when selecting steps to select more than one step at a time. Another way to delete files is to right click once you have made your selections and then pick delete from the pop-up menu. I am also deleting the stippling but leaving the little swirls around the hat for now. The hat is not where I want it so I need to move it and I also want the hat rotated so that the bottom of the hat is just above the corner of the napkin. It is very important when you are moving, sizing, rotating, etc. that you have all the elements of the design that you are modifying selected. As I mentioned before, you can hold the control key while selecting steps. You can also select steps that are sequential by selecting the first one you want, then while holding down the shift key, select the last one. This will select the first step selected, the last one, and all in between. Once you have the items that you want to move, size, rotate, etc. selected, you can move the items while holding down the left mouse button. Here, I am moving the design and placing it where I want in relation to the napkin placement stitch. I want the bottom of the hat to be just above the corner of the napkin. So while all of the elements of the hat are still selected, I click on the horizontal flip from the toolbar at the top of the screen. Once I have the hat positioned, I want to modify the border around the hat so that it is just along the corner of the napkin. So I want to delete the swirls that are on the left and top of the design. In order to delete part of a thread sequence, I have to make sure that the thread sequence is not grouped with other thread sequences. To do this, I select all the sequences in the hat design, right click, and select ungroup. Now I can delete the swirls that I don't want. I select the lasso tool to choose those parts of the border that I don't want to keep. I zoom in to see the parts of the design a little better, select the lasso tool, and then left click to start drawing the lasso. I then draw a line around the parts to be selected. Once I am all the way around those elements I want to delete, I left click the mouse again to close the lasso. Those stitches within the lasso are now selected and can be deleted. Please note, with those items selected, you can also copy, move, rotate, size, etc. to modify just those elements if desired. The design is now complete and I'm ready to save. I must be sure to use save as rather than save or I'll overwrite the original file. I give the napkin a new file name and save. Please note that in the Floriani software, the design is by default saved as a Floriani editable file, a WAF file. For me, in order to sew it out, I have to save it as a PES file for my brother machines. You will need to save it in the format appropriate for your machine. With the design saved as a PES file, I can copy it to a USB stick, place it in my machine, and sew out the napkin. The design will be perfect.